Alright everyone, what's up? In this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the new Scratch Live version 2.1.1. It was just released a couple days ago. And the big new feature in this version is obviously the bridge. Now if you haven't heard by now, Ableton and Serato have been working together the last two years now on this project. And the result is the bridge. Now the bridge is a way for you to play your Ableton Live sets, your samples, your loops, and all that good stuff in Scratch Live. Uh, with and get your turntable or your CDJ control over it. Now it also works the other way around. You can go from Serato to Ableton and specifically if you have the Rain TTM57 or the 68 mixers, all your fader movements, your EQ, panning, and all that stuff will be recorded as automation in Ableton Live. Uh, so this will enable you to go back and tweak your sets and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with it. But I think for most people they're going to use it the other way around from Ableton to Serato. Scratch Live, I should say, and uh, be able to play all their Ableton sets in Scratch Live. Now, if you don't own Ableton, uh, there is a free 30-day trial that you can download and try out. It does require an active internet connection, though, every time you start Ableton Live. Uh, you have to own the full version of Ableton Live 8 or Ableton Live 8 Suite. The light version or any older version uh, is not going to work with the bridge, so you must have the latest release of Ableton Live. Uh, so I would recommend you download the demo and try it out if you don't already own Ableton Live. Now, I'm no Ableton expert by any means. I'm not really much into producing, so um, I'm sure you guys probably know more about it than I do, uh, what it can do and what it can't do. So uh, I'm only going to be able to get into this uh, very briefly, uh, but the way it works is you got to have both programs open. So I have Ableton Live open right here. I have a little tutorial session uh, loaded here in Ableton Live 8. Like I said, I don't use Ableton, so I have to use one of the uh, demo tutorials. Uh, but here, back in Scratch Live, you're going to want to click on the Ableton panel. And this will bring up, basically, the session view in Ableton Live here in Scratch Live. So then you can MIDI assign all this stuff right here and control it right here in Scratch Live. All your effects are going to be over here that you can uh, scroll through uh, the effects for any channels that you have effects on. Uh, but to actually play it, uh, you need to go into your All Crate. And you're going to want to load the Ableton Transport Control Track. It's going to be one of the lock files. Uh, you can sort by the status column and just load that to a deck. Now you're not going to see any waveform uh, for your Ableton Transport Control Track. You're just going to see these lines right here. Uh, these are basically beat grid lines. And also now in 2.1.1, for your normal MP3 tracks, you can have beat grids now on those as well. Now when you build overviews in 2.1, or 2.1.1, it's going to automatically set a beat grid on the file. And so let's load up a normal MP3 file. Load up right here. And you can see this has this little uh, grid lines right here as well. This is the beat grid now for uh, normal MP3 tracks in Scratch Live. So uh, this is just a good visual way to uh, beat match with your tracks in Ableton and your normal MP3 tracks in Scratch Live. Now for most 4-4 house, techno, trance, uh, dance music, uh, when it builds overuse, it'll set the beat rate, and it's a pretty spot on accurate for uh, typical basic 4-4 uh, tracks. But if you type, play any type of uh, breakbeat music, it's like rap, hip-hop, drum and bass, uh, the grids might be a little off, so you might need to adjust those. And I'm going to be making a video on that next on how to edit the beat grids. Uh, but basically, you just click on the grid edit up here. And then you'll see it turn green, and then you can use your arrow keys to shift the grids uh, left and right, and also uh, compress or expand it uh, as well. Uh, but I'm going to get into that in the next video. Uh, so let's push uh, play on my turntable and start the Ableton track. And uh, let me turn it up. So here we go, playing the Ableton track right now. So this is playing in Ableton Live right now. Let's tab back over to here so you can see it playing. Back in Scratch Live, here we go. It's playing now. Now, one big limitation, though, at least I think, is you cannot play in reverse. Uh, apparently, that's a limitation of the Ableton audio engine, so you can't play backwards. Uh, you can only play forwards, which, uh, you know, I would think is a pretty big limitation, but like I said, I don't use Ableton, so uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, but other than that, uh, this is pretty much it for Scratch Live version 2.1.1. So, obviously, the big new feature is the bridge, Ableton Live, and Serato collaboration, uh, beat grids for your normal MP3 tracks, and, of course, a lot of bug fixes from the old 2.1 version. 
so even if you don't use the bridge or Ableton, you should still probably update to the new 2.1.1 version because there's a lot of bug fixes in it from 2.1. So there you go. This is my first look at Serato Scratch Live version 2.1.1 with the bridge.